Today you will learn about the box element, which is used as a container and is similar to a shape with elements. Why use box? It helps you to keep the design, layout, and elements together. It adds logic and order to the page design, assisting users in grasping the page info simpler. You can manage the boxed elements as a single unit, move, and stylize. It is also beneficial for building responsive websites to make your design mobile-friendly, as nowadays it is the most popular way to view web pages. Add a new box from the Add panel. Click the blue Add icon. Go to Box and select Box. As an alternative, you can press the Alt-P hotkeys. You can also quickly add the box bordered, rounded, or as a circle. You can resize box by dragging the markers. Fix positions or proportions by holding the Shift or Alt keys. Add elements to box. Click on the blue round plus icon at the center of the box to add elements. Add the heading and text elements. To align the element, select the box, click on the sidebar, and then the align icons in the property panel. Alternatively, you can box multiple selected elements. Delete the current box. Add the icon, heading, text, and button elements to the blank block. While holding the Alt key, press O and select any icon. Press the Alt key again, hold it, and press the 2, T, and B keys. Select the added elements with the mouse. Then click on the box icon on the Context toolbar. You can also click the icon in the Property panel. Click on the Align icon in the Property panel to align the box. After you box the elements, the box is in the editing mode. And you can modify the inner elements, for example move or resize. Click outside the box to quit the editing. Click and drag the box and you will see that it moves as a single unit. You can easily change the background fill in the Contacts toolbar. Now, we will review the box properties. Go to the Property panel. There are more background options in the Property panel, and you can choose Gradient, Image, and Video background for the box. Click on the Gradient icon. Add the border and make it dashed. Round the corners by changing the radius and then apply the shadow. As we mentioned in the beginning, the box is good for responsive design. The only requirement is to align. Verify that the box and inner elements are properly aligned. Click on the phone view on the top bar. You see the phone view was built automatically without effort. We have finished the lesson about the box element. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Thank you for watching.